Well, the uh, Apollo mission was designed to take two spacecraft to the moon, one of which would land and then return to the second spacecraft orbiting the moon, and that the command and service module would bring the three of us home. Uh, so in order to carry all of that, the giant Saturn V booster was constructed. And it's about 36 stories high, weighs six million pounds, has a thrust of seven and a half million pounds, which is beyond comprehension. But it's an enormous vehicle, and we're very fortunate that they all worked. This project has been a three-way partnership uh, between us, Metropolis, and the Science Museum on the development of the theatre, and uh, us, Metropolis, with David Scott um, on the development of the film. Legend of Apollo, this new simulator, it's all about ingenuity. That of people like Dave Scott and all his thousands of colleagues on Project Apollo, but also those at Metropolis, Paul's colleagues, who have worked in new, innovative, and exciting ways to bring the story of the moon landings to, to life for those who are too young to remember. Alas, but for the better, I can remember. For those who didn't live through them, but are quite old enough to draw inspiration from them. And tonight's a special occasion because I'm often asked by people, what's it like to go to the moon? Well, words are difficult. You know, you can tell them and all that sort of thing, but sounds and motion uh, and imagery can really give you the feel. So what we tried to do with Paul Spence and Steve and all the good people at Metropolis and Red Star as a collective team is to give you that experience, give you an opportunity to feel and see what it's like to go to the moon. However, there's a a problem with it. My lunar mission lasted 12 days and you only get 10 minutes. So we've tried to compress the highlights of 12 days into actually six minutes because there's a short introduction there. And it's, it's hard to do that, but the elements are there. Those things that were most important to us and visually stimulating to us are in the film, and I think you'll really enjoy it and get a good sense of what it's like to go to the moon. In fact, I would encourage you to come back two or three or four more times, because each time you're gonna learn more, because there's a lot in there, and you can learn a lot and understand what we did during our missions. It's sort of a generic film for all missions, but it's focused on the last three missions, which were the science exploration, where we had the lunar rover. So you really get the sense of how it is to drive on the moon, how it is to launch, how it is to land, and I think you'll enjoy the experience and come back many more times. experience imaginable. The empty ignition. It was one heck of a ride.
We hope you enjoyed the experience. Please remove your 3D glasses and leave the theater from the top of the stairs to your right. There is a receptacle for your glasses at the exit door.